Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take an introductory look at the SVG and PSD workflow in Cartoon Animator 5. Cartoon Animator has an excellent 2D animation pipeline that supports both vector and bitmap formats, and also export to all industry standard post-production and video editing tools. In this video, you'll get a summary of both workflow pipelines. We'll be using Illustrator and Photoshop here, but you can feel free to use other tools with the same support. To begin creating content with our editors, we have to first get them linked up in Cartoon Animator. You'll want to start by going into your preferences and defining the application path for your PSD editor in the image section and your SVG editor in the vector section. You'll see a list of supported programs in each section and further support will be added for SVG in the future. Generally, you'll want to make sure that your target tool is already open in order to ensure the smoothest workflow. The SVG and PSD editor icons can be found on the toolbar and their visibility toggled from the window menu. If I click the Illustrator icon on the toolbar, Cartoon Animator will launch a new project in Illustrator and the two programs will be synced. I'll start by creating a super simple square shape here and saving it. Upon saving in Illustrator, a window will pop up in Cartoon Animator asking if you want to define it as a prop, scene, or bone actor. I'll just quickly define it as a prop and then move on to create another super simple object, this time using the Photoshop and creating a simple circle, which I'll save as a prop. If you open up the scene manager, you'll be able to see them defined as SVG and BMP. The sync icon indicates that they are both synchronized with their respective programs. Since they're synced, if I edit the square in Illustrator and resave, it will be updated in Cartoon Animator as well. The same goes for my sphere in Photoshop if I follow the same workflow. You can also create a G3 standard character with this same pipeline by using the Create Character button on the sidebar, which will launch the G3 character template that includes the complete character rig and image layers. You can replace the images in the template to customize your character, and once you save, it will import that character to Cartoon Animator. As with our two primitive props that we saved earlier, you'll also be able to see it in the Scene Manager with the same sync status. The same workflow works for PSD, only with a slightly different dummy and structure. Clicking on No More in the Character Creation window will lead you to a page containing both the white paper and template files for your reference. The white papers contain all of the information that you'll need to customize your character dummy, and there are also resource files for other character dummies as well that you can use in your preferred tool. Please be aware that if you have your character selected and enter into Composer mode, the linkage between Cartoon Animator and your graphic tool will be disconnected until you launch it again. You can see that the sync icon is no longer there. With that said, let's see how we can launch current content from Cartoon Animator for further editing. Right now, I have a vector-based SVG character on the left and a bitmap character on the right. I'll start by launching my SVG character into its respective editing tool from Composer mode. You can see all of the layers and groups organized as they should be, and if you want to edit multiple parts of your character, this is the recommended workflow. However, if you only want to edit the aspects of a single sprite, you can also launch that specific layer in your editing tool by using the dedicated button in the sprite editor. The process is similar when launching your image-based character out, however, in this case you have the option to launch the head and body separately into your image editing program in bitmap format. You can also transfer out individual parts via PNG as well. Finally, you can also edit your character to contain both vector and image-based parts. To demonstrate this, I'm going to launch my image-based character and apply a couple of vector-based pom-poms to his hands.
You can edit the size of the elements by using the Edit Pose mode. In the Scene Manager this time, you'll see both SVG and Bitmap listed, as this is now sort of a hybrid character. However, if you launch the image-based character from Composer mode, the pom-poms will disappear, since they are actually defined as accessories. If you want, you can launch them separately to an SVG editor in Composer mode. Those are some of the new workflows that are now available with the latest 5.2 update that make it easier to work with Cartoon Animator in combination with your other favorite 2D software out there. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.